We're currently in the fourth surge of COVID and the leaders of San Diego's hospitals say at this point in the pandemic, they're not so much worried about running out of ICU beds and ventilators. They're actually worried about running out of staffing and they're having to pay top dollar to import talent from other parts of the country. I even spoke with a travel nurse staffing agency who says they're paying anywhere from two to three times pre pandemic rates because of the demand. I sat down with a travel nurse who, from Pittsburgh who's working at UCS health. What have been some of the differences that you've noticed between Pennsylvania, Fresno and San Diego? I know you mentioned when you first went to Fresno, part of the reason that you were sent there is because that entire staff seemed yeah. to be out with COVID. Yeah. Um, I went to Fresno. There were times that in the ICU that I was working in, it would be all travelers. Um, there may be one actual staff nurse from that hospital on. They did, uh, it was at the beginning of COVID, so we didn't all quite know what to expect just yet. Um, so there wasn't the vaccinations and everything just yet. And their population of patients, it, it was so, there was so many COVID um, instances that I guess they just, they, they pulled in all the travelers and, and we made it work. <laughs> The healthcare leadership in San Diego that I spoke to said that um, because they're dealing with so many staffing issues, they're having to spend top dollar importing talent from around the country. And it seems like some of the states that are looking for staffing the most are California, Texas, and Florida. Um, I mean, are you finding that you're being able to make more money because um, your profession is in so such high demand right now? Yeah, um, that is a, a bonus to, to the job is the amount of money that we're making. It's not um, something astronomical, um, but it is compared to the job that I was doing in Pittsburgh. It is um, more than what I was making there, which is nice. It's good to um, for my family. That's what I look for. But it wasn't the, the money that, that brought me here. It was the I wanted to help people. Um, in need. So what keeps you wanting to stay in it and wanting to keep doing this? Um, really my, my love for taking care of people, helping people that are in need. Um, this one, <laughs> she's also part of the reason why I keep going. Um, I want to set a good example for her. Um, as you can see, she's wearing a little shirt that says my mom's my hero. Um, but I know that there's a lot of people that don't have the, the proper education and everything like that and and they don't know why uh, to get the vaccine so no matter what I just want to take care of people help people that don't know um, don't have the education and everything like that just any uh, final words about the pandemic and what you've been through and what it's been like to see so many patients coming in unvaccinated yeah. uh, I know when I'm feeling down and and that I I feel like I can't go anymore. I just, it's cheesy, but if you ever saw Finding Nemo, just keep swimming. I say that in my head. Just keep swimming, just keep going, stay positive. There has to be an end to this at some time. There really does. Um, and no matter what, a person is a person. Um, take care of them no matter what. If they're vaccinated, unvaccinated, it doesn't matter. Just keep going, keep taking care of your patients. I know this is stressful and, and everything. I, I had to go through the hardest thing ever. I left her on the other side of the country when she was a year old to, to go help. Um, hardest thing I ever had to do. But just keep swimming, just, just keep trying. We'll make it through this at some point. <laughs> and we'll be right back.